The Hope Machine by Sam Copeland. Let me tell you, it's not easy being an evil super genius when you're 10 years old. Firstly, nobody respects you or your evil plans. Secondly, my evil super genius laugh laugh sounds more like a giggle because I still have quite a high voice. Thirdly, all the adults have already copyrighted all the cool superhero and villain names. So, and do not laugh unless you wish to die, my alter ego is the deadly pencil. Trust me, I tried every possible combination of names and they were all taken. And my superhero nemeses are Sensible Boy, Captain Coventry, and Llama Boy, and Goat Girl. Also, the movies are wrong. There are so many superheroes. Oh, it's so tiresome. Everybody wants to be a goodie. I'm completely outnumbered. They all get to hang out together, and I'm completely by myself. But that's how I like it. So... I have to come up with evil schemes, and that's why I invented the hope machine. If you hadn't guessed, it's a machine which makes hopes come true. Dangerous technology if it fell into the wrong hands, though. Can you imagine? It would be all world peace, this, and love and happiness, that. Yuck. The first time I touched the hope machine's mind-reading helmet... I closed my eyes and hoped that something horrible happened to Goat Girl. She had just foiled one of my evil schemes, and it worked perfectly. I found out the next day that one of her goats had eaten her cape and pooed in her helmet. (laughs) The second thing I hoped for worked so well it backfired. I hoped I would finally get some respect and that I'd be treated like a proper evil super genius. The following day, I woke up to find my house completely surrounded by superheroes. And not just Llama Boy, all the big ones were there. They insisted I come out and apologise for being naughty. And I had to promise to behave from then on. I had no choice but to agree. So undignified. The final time I used the hope machine was the night before my birthday. After the embarrassment of having to apologise, I decided to finish them once and for all. I hoped for death to all superheroes. I went to sleep wearing the hope machine helmet just to make extra sure my hope came true. That was a very bad idea. I awoke the next day to the doorbell ringing. I answered it to find all my nemeses on the doorstep and they were not dead. They were very much alive and carrying balloons and cards and presents. All for me. There was a cake and they sang happy birthday and they gave me a huge party with games and dancing. It was all perfectly dreadful. Clearly the machine had gone horribly faulty whilst I was sleeping and for some reason thought I'd hope for fun and happiness. Now I'm stuck with having friends and I even caught myself smiling this morning and it wasn't even a super villain evil grin. Double yuck. Obviously, I have thrown the hope machine in the bin.